The question is, can a facelift go wrong? Of course, just like any other surgery in the plastic surgery world, facelifts have a probability of ending up with consequences and complications. In order to avoid going into complications, uh, the surgeon should select the patient very carefully and as long as the correct patient is picked and as long as the correct techniques are employed, uh, facelifts have a very small probability of going wrong. What can go wrong during or after facelift surgery? Depending on the depth and extent of the procedure, uh, nerve injury and wound healing problems are the most common complications of uh, facelifting. In order to avoid nerve damage, uh, a surgeon can prefer to stay above the nerve level and to perform a mini or superficial facelift. However, in many cases, uh, the, the, the SMAS layer should be elevated and the level underneath the SMAS should be exposed in order to uh, obtain a proper lift. And this area is the area where the facial nerve branches are present and the surgeon should have a vast knowledge of anatomy in order to uh, master the correct surgical dissection planes in this area. Uh, another problem with the facelift is like wound healing problems and skin slough or skin uh, circulation problems. Skin circulation problems are generally uh, due to extensive subcutaneous dissection or the patient related uh, features like smoking or some vascular diseases. Smoking is a very uh, important uh, negative factor uh, in facelift and smokers should be very careful and think twice before going for a facelift. On the other hand, uh, the wound healing problems are generally well tolerated and end up with uh, like acceptable results. There is one more problem uh, with facelifting. Uh, it is uh, the insufficient result. Generally, this is due to uh, limited dissection of, of the SMAS and this is due to like insufficient uh, dissection of the, uh, of the layers of the face and this generally ends up with like uh, less than perfect results. Uh, on the other hand, uh, the facelift complications are of course uh, related to the sur surgeon's skills as well. Uh, for example, if the, the, the operation ends up with a pixie ear deformity or the loss of tragus here, we can simply tell that like the sur facelift surgery has not been done properly. The best thing you can do in order to avoid uh, facelift complications is discussing whatever you're going to go through in depth with your surgeon and uh, getting rid of all the toxic elements like smoking, etc. And of course, uh, you should have very good control of your blood pressure in the early post-op and this is something that can be done at the hospital. Uh, if you already have an existing high blood pressure problem, uh, you should check it once again before going through face of surgery.